And what are the specific initiatives that are underway at the moment, Sherry? Well, I'd say there are three main ones that um, I'm focusing on at the moment. The first one, as I mentioned, is the Cultural Champion Scheme. So these are individuals. Um, sometimes they're just very passionate members of the public. Um, some of them are healthcare professionals. The key thing that unites the champions is their ability to spread the word about the cultural offer to other members of their private and professional and personal networks. So we make sure that those people are always aware of the opportunities that are available. The other initiative that we have is called a culture bulletin. Um, actually, I'm holding one here and I'll show it to the camera. This is produced about four times a year and it's a great window on the world for those 14 organisations in the working group to showcase the free activity that they have or certainly the more keenly priced activities so that older audiences can receive this. Um, right now we have, I think it's just over 2,000 people receive this by email and we have printed copies available through the Manchester Mobile Library Network and that's something we're particularly proud of because that hits a lot of older people who are housebound so those with access issues for example are still able to access information to do with cultural activity that we can either bring to their homes or to local community centres. And the final way that we're working with older people, and this is an exciting initiative, are the cultural tours. And those tours are designed for the uh, cultural champions that we mentioned as a way of getting them excited and enthusiastic about perhaps two or three venues. The next one we have planned for autumn 2011 will feature the chance to sit alongside the Halle musicians during their um, rehearsal for Beethoven's Eroica. Many of those older people, this is going to be perhaps, you know, a once in a lifetime experience of working with professional musicians. They're going to be given a personal tour and a little talk by the artistic director Sir Mark Elder and it will finish up with invitations to the uh, final concert in a few weeks after, after the tour. So in those ways we're looking to really enthuse and engage older people who may never have had the chance to do it before.